water water is a very important ingredient of concrete it is used for mixing of fresh concrete as well as for curing of the hardened concrete we should know the quality of water being used for the purpose of concreting the most important thing is that the water used for concreting should be potable or it should be drinkable the use of sea water for mixing or curing of concrete is not recommended due to the presence of harmful salts present in sea water generally for concrete for 1 m cube of concrete we require at least 180 to 200 liters of water as per indian standard is 456 2000 there are several recommendations on the quality of water being used for concrete the ph value should always be greater than 6 it should never go below 6 that is the water should never be acidic in nature and regarding the other parameters such as the organic materials inorganic substances sulfates chlorides and suspended solids are strictly permitted based on the limits prescribed in is 456 as shown here or you can refer to page number 15 of is 456 in table 1 the the presence of excess water in concrete can cause what is known as bleeding bleeding is what is generally observed once you complete the process of concreting you see the water coming up to the surface of the concrete structure once it is casted and remains there this is known as bleeding abram's law abram's law is something of great importance it shows the direct relationship between the compressive strength of the concrete and the water being used for concreting water being used for concreting is generally expressed in terms of water cement ratio it is nothing but the ratio between the mass of water used for concreting to the mass of cement used for concreting so th- that is how you obtain water cement ratio generally a water cement ratio of 0.4 to 0.6 is used in concrete as you increase the water cement ratio that means the quantity of water being used for concreting is also being increased as you increase water cement ratio the water used for concreting increases then the it is found that the strength of concrete the compressive strength of concrete declines sharply so a reduction in water cement ratio is generally recommended you need not you should not use a higher water cement ratio you are advised to use a lower water cement ratio as far as concreting is concerned in order to ensure that you get a higher strength concrete the last of the most important ingredients of concrete is admixtures admixtures are materials added in addition to the other ingredients of concrete cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water with the intention to modify its properties in the fresh and hardened states broadly we classify admixtures into two chemical admixtures and mineral admixtures chemical admixtures are generally artificially prepared artificially synthesized and are found in liquid form the mineral admixtures are generally the industrial waste products or by products uh, which are obtained in the fine granular form let us briefly discuss about the chemical admixtures they are of different types as given here accelerators retarders super plasticizers air and training agents and bonding admixtures these are added to concrete with the definite purposes which they can serve to modify its properties accelerators are generally added to the concrete with the objective of accelerating the hardening process that means the early strength of concrete is increased for certain purposes for example if you want to remove the form work of concreting earlier or if you want to reduce the duration of curing you add at accelerators and coming to retarders 
retarders are used to delay the setting of concrete especially in case of mass concreting it is added it reduces the heat generation generally mass concreting results in excessive heat production which can result in the formation of cracks in concrete and this can be minimized with the help of retarders which delay the setting of concrete now coming to super plasticizers which is very very important admixture as we already discussed the presence of more water in concrete can result in reduced strength of concrete but we cannot reduce water too much because with the reduction of water the workability of concrete will get compromised so to prevent that we use super plasticizers which helps in increasing the workability of concrete but at the same time it helps to reduce water so they are also known as water reducers it helps to reduce water content at the same time it increases the workability or flowability of the mix now the next one is the air and training agents these are specifically used to structures which are subjected to alternate heating and cooling conditions so they are meant to introduce microscopic air bubble cavities in the concrete structures very very small air bubbles are uh, added to the concrete structure such that the effect of alternate freezing and thawing is minimized now coming to the bonding admixtures it is another important admixture it is used with the purpose of uh, the adherence of fresh concrete with the old concrete if you want if you perform concreting over old concrete and you want a bondage between the two you use bonding admixtures now coming to the types of mineral admixtures these are also known as pusillonas pusillonas are materials which are used for partial replacement of cement in concrete cement as you know is the most expensive material used in concrete and the higher usage of cement shall lead to lesser economy uh, it is not affordable for everybody to use higher quantities of cement so you need something to replace cement but at the same time perform the all the functions of cement so for which you need pusillonas and mineral admixtures perform the function of pusillonas they partially replace cement in concrete and what are such materials fly ash ground granulated blast furnace slag silica fumes rice husk ash and metacaolin the details of these materials are already discussed in uh, clause 5.2 of Indian Standard IS 456. You can refer to this clause for detailed description.